Hello everyone. Welcome back to the iRender channel. In this video, we are gonna do a render test with Maya software and V-Ray renderer. This test is done on the 4RTX 3090 server. First, log into the iRender account. We'll utilize GPU rendering, so choose GPU Hub. We have not set up any image for Maya and V-Ray, so just create a new image with the 4RTX 3090 package. Notice that you need to set up all software and applications for the server for the first time. They are stored and available for the next user session. Then boot the image which takes us about 5 minutes. When the server's state is running, iRender starts charging us at this step. To connect to the remote server, enter the credentials in the remote desktop file. Here, we're on the remote server. Install Maya software and V-Ray renderer first. Notice that we already transferred the project folder via GPU hub sync before booting the server. All data transferred will be synced with Z drive in the remote server which is a networked drive. However, it's optimal to work everything on hard drives like C or desktop. So, copy all data or installation files to desktop before opening. Now, we open the project. Do some settings with V-Ray Renderer, GPU Rendering. Setting the output path should be in the C drive as well to avoid getting corrupted. Then, click to render. Remember to save the output in desktop or C drive. When the rendering process is complete, we move the rendered output to Z drive. This step is to sync these images with GPU hub sync to download later. After using the remote server, we shut it down. Finally, open the GPU hub sync app on our personal computer to download the rendered images. To sum up, we rendered a Maya scene with V-Ray renderer. 
the render time is 5 minutes, 31 seconds with the 2996, 2000 image size. If you have any questions, just comment below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.